Hey everyone, I'm Paul, and um, I'm actually here Skyping with my friend Chris on the video screen. Um, basically, he came to me with um, kind of a challenge to um, start dieting. It's something that me and him both been wanting to do for so long. We both know we're overweight and kind of out of shape. So, um, actually, I recently had uh, the doctor diagnose me as having pre-diabetes. Uh, basically, it's been about a month ago. So, I've kind of been dieting on my own. Um, but Chris came up with this pretty cool idea after seeing a, a cool movie. What was the movie, Chris, that you saw? It's called uh, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And Nearly Dead, okay. So Chris kind of had the idea that we're going to uh, somewhat follow the, the plan that those guys did in the movie, right? So, I don't know, you want to kind of tell us about the actual plan that they had, Chris? Yeah. So, uh, my, um, one of my friends, you know, the guy I work with, um, he knows that I've been trying to lose weight for a long time, and I've tried a lot of different things and didn't work. And, and so he, he told me about this documentary he watched, which was Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And, you know, so why don't you give it a try? You know, it's amazing what these guys did. So I went ahead and checked it out on, on uh, Netflix that night. And uh, this guy from Australia who weighs just, you know, he started out just about the same weight I'm at. He ended up by losing 71 pounds wow. in two months. And another yeah. guy lost about somewhere over 90 pounds in two months by doing nothing, just juicing, just basically fruits and veggies, and that's it, um, and just putting it through a juicer. Okay. So I thought, wow, you know, that's pretty simple. You can't get much simpler than that and just putting vegetable in the <laughs> juicer and drinking it, yeah. you know. So I figured, hey, man, you know, you and I have both been trying to do yeah. this for a long time to lose weight, so yeah. maybe this is something we can kind of do together even though we're across the country. Yeah, yeah. me and Chris have been real good friends for what? It's been close to 20 years now. And um, he knew I was kind of starting to go through some uh, health issues, um, like I said, with the pre-diabetes thing. So he came to me with this idea, and I figured I was definitely down for it, and I was definitely down to try and support my good friend Chris that I've known, like I said, for almost 20 years. So I think, you know, that's kind of the motivation behind this is just trying to both get in better health um, and motivate each other to do this. Um, I don't know how strictly we're going to totally follow these diets. I think Chris, his idea is kind of follow it pretty strict to what they did. I think I'm going to be following it a little bit more loosely to um, what's based on the website. They have a couple of different diets. They had one where it's not just uh, juicing the vegetables. They actually eat some of the fresh vegetables. So I think I'm going to try that one. Um, for me, I think it's going to be kind of a, a definitely a different thing uh, to have the uh, mental issue of not actually chewing on something. So that's kind of why I want to try and uh, actually do the juicing as the majority of the diet. But at least I think one meal a day, probably dinner, I'm going to be uh, sitting down and uh, cooking fresh vegetables, no meat or anything, but um, probably vegetables and some fresh fruit. So I don't know what do you think about that, Chris. So <laughs> like, well, well, I think that's gonna be it's gonna be tough doing yeah. not chewing anything for you know. I yeah. do this all the way up to Thanksgiving. That's almost two months of not chewing anything. Yeah. So <laughs> well, is, yeah, it, is chewing problem. gum legal, man? <laughs> Can we chew gum? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, that might help. Sugarless gum. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, I think, you know, that's kind of been one of the things for me and Chris. We've always loved to eat. You know, I definitely think our physiques show that. But it was always kind of the center of what we did, uh, especially, you know, especially even like road trips. That was the main thing. You know, hey, let's go on a road trip and find all these cool places to go eat. And uh, I think, you know, that's always something that we really enjoy. I think it's something we're always going to enjoy. But I think um, starting this diet and moving forward from it, we're going to probably – at least, you know, not always going to the restaurant or the biggest thing that we always on the menu and five appetizers and everything else, I think, you know, so. Yeah, well, our, we remember, uh, we kind of joke about it, but our slogan, like our slogan used to be, eat till it hurts, then eat some more. <laughs> yeah, eat, so, yeah, eat till it hurts, then eat some more. Yeah, so. we other days have to go away. Yeah, we're getting too old for that. We're but well, I've turned 40 recently. I'm actually 41. And Chris, what are you? You're 39? Uh, or 38. I think I'm 38. Still, 38. So. Okay, so he's a couple years younger than me. So I'm over the hill, and he's uh, just about to the peak of the hill, I guess. So, and that's <laughs> another reason why we definitely want to start losing some weight. Um, so I guess what's our plan for this film or documentary or you know YouTube channel that we're going to be starting here? Uh, you know, I figured it'd be a good idea just to record. You know, uh, how we're both doing this, but slightly different programs, I mean, basically the same concept, we're doing it a little bit differently, but but then also our challenges that we face, um, you know, our successes, you know, maybe tips that we learn, and, you know, and then just as we're video 
you know, taping all this, uh, recording all this, just seeing how our bodies and our lifestyle change, you know, going from being overweight and, you know, maybe a little lethargic and not really happy with where we're at to, you know, losing weight, getting more energy and just being more happy, you know, yeah. with the, where we are in our lives. Yeah. Well, so. I think like uh, me and Chris were talking a little bit ago, I think one of the real big motivations for both of us is uh, both sides of our families, they are not both sides of our families, but both of our families, I think on my mom's side for me, and on your dad's side for you, we both have kind of a history of heart disease in our families. Uh, my mom passed away at um, only 65, and her mother passed away, I believe, only in her uh, mid-50s. And um, unfortunately, Chris's dad, you just recently had a heart attack, right, Chris? And he's really too young. Uh, my, yeah, my dad had a heart attack. You know, luckily, you know, he's still with us. But then, um, you know, several, you know, all my aunts and uncles on his side all take medication yeah. for high cholesterol. and. And your dad, he's probably more fit looking than both of us are, so, you know, and that's yeah. another, uh, something really scary to wake us up, you know. And definitely, yeah, my mom was always skinny, and she was always eating, you know, vegetables and good food, I thought, and so. Yeah, she was pretty active. And yeah, so, you know, that's kind of the scary part, so, and so we're definitely far from that, so we're definitely probably increasing our risks of having heart disease or stuff like that, so. Um, I think definitely eating a lot more vegetables, eating a healthier diet, exercising, and uh, just uh, hopefully getting better on all this stuff will help us live at least a little bit longer and a more enjoyable life too, you know. Yeah, and you know, like we were talking about earlier, just, you know, for, at, at least from my perspective, there's a lot of things that I've, you know, feel that I've missed out on life because, you know, being overweight, whether it's people going out and doing things and I thought, man, that'd be mm -hmm. cool, but I'm too big, or, hey, we're going to go rafting down the river, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to be the fat guy on the boat, you know. <laughs> Fat you know, guy on a little boat. <laughs> <laughs> or just, uh, you know, hey, it's going to be too hot, I'll get all sweaty. You know, yeah. just all the things that, um, you know, I've been passing up on, I don't want to pass up on those yeah. things. Yeah, I'm definitely getting too old and life is definitely short, so, you know, it's not good to spend all your life overweight and not be able to do the activities you really want to do. And that's one of the things I definitely i am hoping that I'll get light enough to where I can be able to start running again and not have it totally kill my knees, you know, because... Being overweight definitely stresses your knees out, and you know I used to be in the military a long time ago, and I know I used to enjoy running long distances, but I'll be lucky to run a mile now without having some serious knee pain. Cross country in high school, you yeah, know, I used to be able to run four miles without a problem, and now you know I barely run a block, you know, mm -hmm. if I'm lucky. So you know, carrying all of this extra weight, you know, just I mean, if, if you, I tell, try to tell, explain it to people that you know. You know, normal person, you you take a hundred pound pack and put it on them, and then just say go running. Yeah. They're not gonna run very far, so it's basically just carrying like a, a ton of weight that's you know slowing down and making you know putting stress on all on our bodies. Yeah. Well, kind of even like the example in the movie, you know, the guy was showing basically how many bowling balls he lost. You know, just yeah. think of it. You know, you're carrying around four or five, six extra bowling balls. So I know for me, since basically since. <laughs> Basic training when I was uh, 18 years old, I was only 142 pounds. Um, I've gone all the way up to close to 240, so that's almost a 100 pound gain for me. So I definitely like to at least someday get up back under 200. So that's kind of my goal, initial goal for this uh, thing that we're going to be doing. Um, I'm not just only focusing on a number. I basically, you know, I want to get healthier. Um, so whatever that number is, it is. But uh, hopefully, I'm hoping somewhere around under 200 is my goal. Yeah, you know, and that's my eventual goal, too. I think my immediate goal is, you know, I'd like to see if I can, you know, lose 50 pounds. You know, I'll start, start with, you know, small numbers, maybe, yeah. you know, focus yeah. on the first 25, and then if things go yeah. well, the next 50. But yeah, I think that's, goal, yeah, I think that's what we got to do, just take day by day, and then week by week, you know, pound by pound, you know, and then just setting that goal, you know, take it day by day. Um, not only get discouraged, you know, if you don't lose the exact amount of weight, but, you know, just... Keep going at it, see how it goes. And I think it's going to be more just about uh, feeling better, I think. You know, I think we'll notice some uh, health increases. Um, my hope, too, is like I said, um, I'm, yeah, I am taking a minor medication for uh, pre diabetes now. It's only one small pill a day, but hopefully, if I get light enough and in shape enough, I won't have to take any medication, and that'll definitely be uh, nice. What would be a cost savings and just a, a good mental note to know you, know, you know, you don't have to take any medication, you know. I think it'll definitely yeah. uh, make me feel better about myself. And as, yeah, you know. it's basically going to come down to how bad we really want to do this, and how you know, there's no one to answer to except ourselves. You know, that's the main reason I'm doing it for myself. 
And the secondary reason I'm doing it is I'm hoping to give you support, and <laughs> I'm hoping you're going to be doing the same back to me, you know. I think it's always good to have good friends to help each other out and uh, go after the common goal together. So. Yeah, well, and, you know, when you're maybe feeling, you know, stressed or, you know, feeling a little bit weak, you know, like, ah, oh, man, I, maybe I'll just get a burrito today, you know. <laughs> At least, you know, you've got someone that's going through it with you. You can call up and just say, hey, you know, man, I just need a little support because I'm, I'm thinking about breaking up. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, kind of speaking about that stuff, um, did you do any sort of splurging this weekend before? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get your last hamburger in? Oh, my <laughs> Okay, so yeah. I guess that'll wrap it up for today, guys. Um, I just want to wish anybody else luck that's trying this sort of diet. Um, again, we welcome you. Please leave your comments down in the uh, video notes here that we're making on YouTube and uh, see how it goes. Hopefully, this is just the start of something good. Okay, see everyone later.